Hey everybody, it's Mike from the Mike Widener Show, powered by Soundcraft Studios, brought to you by official sponsor of the Mike Widener Show, international warring author Mia Muslin Zia Missing, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. The Mike Widener Show is brought to you by Illuminipical, the think tank of the future. The Sweet Summit by Serena Wagner, based on the life of David, now on Amazon, keyword Sweet, sweet Summit Serena Wagner. Also, Heidi Tan Music, check out our latest at HeidiTanMusic.com. We're here with Terrific Jelen, who's a multi-talented Christian singer, songwriter, and multi-world winner featured on Indie Radio Universal, Space Angel, and a lot more. He's had over 10,000 views to his latest release. He also opened for uh, Earl Thomas Connolly, play for the veterans, and also senior uh, instructor, member of the McGuire Veterans, and uh, numerous followers on uh, Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, and more. And he's based out in the East Coast, and uh, he's got a new song out, which is Jesus Never Tapped Out, featuring all the hits and more. Live, ladies and gentlemen, at Plus Studios, uh, somewhere in Virginia, the multi-talented Christian singer, songwriter, multi-world winner, featuring indie, indie radio, and with his latest Jesus never tapped out. He did never tap out. Ladies and gentlemen, the multi-talented John Harvey. John, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Thanks for joining us today. Oh, thank you so much. It's such an honor to be here with you, Mike. Thank you so much. Well, it's great to have you on board, John. I mean, you got such experience as well. You're multi-talented Christian singer, songwriter, multi-world winner, featured on the Indie Radio Universal, Space Angel, and more. You have over 10,000 views to your latest release, Jesus Never Tapped Out. You also opened up for Earl Thomas Connolly. You played for veterans. You're a senior instructor and member of the McGuire Veterans. You have numerous followers on Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, and more. You also have your new release, Jesus Never Tapped Out, featuring the Tower track and um, Let the Light Shine On, Blessed Are, and um, a lot more. Before getting all that, John, tell us how you first got started. Wow. I first got started when I was, uh, I'm going to have to say I was about three years old. Wow, okay. And um, I can remember sitting in the bathtub listening to my brother spin his 45s in his bedroom and you know i was getting turned on to elvis presley and chuck berry and little richard and 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 all those cats and i i just fell in love with music and i knew i knew right then that, that that's what i was supposed to do i was supposed to be a a musician a rock and roller and songwriter and it wasn't long afterwards that uh like when I was 10, my mom got me a set of drums to keep me out of trouble from uh, being <laughs> in Philadelphia. Little did she know. <laughs> but uh, so I started playing drums. I had my first my first band when I was 11. We were called the Tombstones. Uh-huh. Uh, we did a lot of uh, a lot of cover cover songs by the Beatles. Um uh, when I was 15, I started playing guitar. Uh, there was a, a a girl I met that she liked me and I liked her and her favorite song was Blowing in the Wind by Bob Dylan. So I I borrowed a guitar from my preacher and learned how to play it. One night I learned how to play it. My fingers were bleeding, but uh, <laughs> I played it for her. We became boyfriend and girlfriend for a while and uh, the guitar long outlasted that relationship. <laughs> but uh, uh, that's when I really got into uh, writing, writing music and and playing covers. I've always played cover music because it it it, it helped make me a better writer because I learned how other people wrote and I I tried to emulate that. Oh my gosh, that's so amazing! I mean, you got a great start right there, John. And um, other than that moment, uh, being three years old, listening to your um. You, you're, you're, uh, the music playing in your brother's room, sitting in a tub and everything. What was that other one precise moment that simply influenced you into what you're doing for the rest of your career, especially what you're doing right now? This is like permanent. Well, um, again, I, I've, I've always been a songwriter and played cover music, mostly secular music. But uh, one day, not long ago, I was driving down the road after band practice and I pulled up behind a truck that was going real slow. And, um, I noticed on his back windshield, he had a sticker that read Jesus never tapped. <laughs> and, and it was a Kairos moment for me. I had to pull off the side of the road. Uh, the Holy spirit came down on me and, showed me 
why Jesus was born, why he lived the life he did, why he died, why he was buried, why he rose again on the third day, and why he left us with the Holy Spirit. And I was just blown away, doesn't even cover it, but it changed my life forever. I remember sobbing in the cab of my car and I, it took about 20 minutes to compose myself. And I went home to my girlfriend of uh, 13 years and she looked at me and she could tell I'd been through something. She goes, what happened to you? And I told her the story and she goes, well, what are you going to do? And I go, I'm going to find us a church. And I found us the most uh, uh, amazing non-denominational spirit filled Bible church. And uh, her and I started going and then we walked down the aisle and got married there. And I wrote the song, Jesus never tapped out. I had had this blues jam that I had done it instrumentally. I don't know for, for maybe a year or so. Mm -hmm. And I used to play it for the vets all the time and they loved it. Well, I penned the song and the words fit perfectly. And I took it to the vets and they made me play that song five times. Really? Five consecutive time. times? Oh my gosh. Yeah, the first time I, and they, they just, they loved it. And every time thereafter, I would have to constantly play that song. So I, I recorded it. Um, I went and did a video of it up in up in New Jersey at uh, Bulletproof Studios with John Albino and Franco uh, Frasetti. He was a uh, videographer, and he's also the uh, stage lighting director for the band Aerosmith. Oh, okay. so I was I was really fortunate, and he he did a bang up job. Um. And the song has touched so many people. I get comments and messages all the time of people thanking me for writing that song. Because to me, what that song did was it it proved to me that there, beyond a shadow of a doubt, Jesus Christ is God. Because he was the only quote unquote God that went that distance. There have been a lot of gods, you know, Hercules, Odom, uh, a bunch of them, but they all fell short. But Jesus went all the way. And uh, it's helped a lot of people in their search. And that that means more than anything to me. It, it, it's, it's helped my veterans. Um, you know, I've played for some large crowds. I played for crowds, you know, upwards of uh, 10, 15, 20,000 people. And, and, and there's nothing like that except playing for a room full of wheelchairs. Mm -hmm. That is the most spectacular thing. So at, at that point, I turned my music over to God. And I just started writing Christian songs and Christian music. Um. I still do uh, positive secular songs when I play uh, skilled nursing facilities, which is one of my passions. Okay. Um, I, 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 just, I just love playing for people, and uh, Jesus Never Tapped Out was a turning point in my life. Mm -hmm. and, and, of course, you had a bumper sticker as well. How long ago was that? Oh, man, that was... Uh, it was probably eight or nine years. And after I recorded it, God told me to sit on it. He said, don't release it yet. And I did. Um, I played it for select people, my vets, but I didn't release it. And one day at church, God told me to leave my secular band Release Jesus never tapped out. 
and he would take care of everything. Mm -hmm. And I listened to him. I did exactly what he said. And, and, and this secular band was pretty successful. But I did what God said, and what he has been doing in my life just totally blows that away. But it was, wasn't two days later that I sent the song to uh, Chris Spear, who was my promoter of Space Angel Music. He fell in love with the song immediately. Nice. And he said, we got we to gotta get this song out there. And he got it out there. And it went all over Europe. It was number one on the radio for a very long time over there. I'm still getting airplay like crazy from that song. And this man, Chris, is the best promoter I've ever seen in my life. And he took this song under his wings. And it's just been, it's been nonstop. I mean, Chris in his own right, he's a hit, hit songwriter and performer. He did the song Turkey Stomp back in the day. He wrote the song We Were Born This Way with Bunny Jones. Mm -hmm. uh, been performed by Valentino, Lady Gaga. Stevie Wonder played drums on the original, the original version. And for him to have taken me under his wings like that, it just blew me away. But it wouldn't have been if it hadn't have been for the song, Jesus Never Tapped Out. Now he has his own indie radio universal network with uh, Robbie Spencer. It is powered by SE Studios. It comes on every Monday night mm -hmm. where he plays the best, the best indie music that there is and it covers all genres um there's some awesome christian music in there there there's some great country music rock music but i found that my song jesus never tapped out has crossed over into secular music oh nice which which blows my mind it it, it really does um but I, I, I just can't say enough for Chris and everything that he's done for me and, and the Christian community. Mm -hmm. And certainly did as well, too. More on Jesus Never Tapped Out and more of the amazing um, John Harvey. But first, listen to The Mike Widener Show at themikewidenershow.com, powered by Sonic Web Studios. Visit online at sonicwebstudios.com for all you need. Look at a professional website without breaking your budget. Sonic Web Studios is the answer. Sonic Web Studios offers fast, affordable custom web designs that blow the competition away. Call today, 1-800-303-3960. It's 1-800-303-3960. Or email to support at sonicwebstudios.com. Mention the Mike Widener Show. Get 20% off your first project. Sonic Web Studios. Take your image to the next level. Also, time to give an official shout-out to our official sponsor, the Mike Widener Show, International War Ring, author Mia molson -Zia. If you love fast-paced mysteries, you'll love Missing by Mia molson -Zia, available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing is fast-paced and intriguing with an unforgettable twist. Takes place in four countries, two strangers, one target, where truth is illusion and those who love be the first go missing. It's available on Amazon and paperback and ebook. Missing by Mia molson -Zia has got great reviews. In Evil Eleven and Doors by Howard Celebrities, including Joanna Cassie, Forge Riley, and many others. So grab your copy today for goes Missing by Mia molson -Zia, available on Amazon. Also, also, the Mike Widener Show is brought to you by Elliptical, the think tank of the future that brings scientists and engineers together from all over the world, creating a method to construct a renewable generator with this in mind. This unique product constant, uh, operates on a closed-loop system generates more energy internally than it needs to function. The extra electricity can be used to run everything from homes, power grids, to phones and laptops. This power source is entirely renewable, highly scalable, and more importantly, self-regenerating. Visit today at facebook.com slash illuminatical. That's facebook.com slash E-L-L-U-M-E-N-T-I-P-T-I-C-L-L -L today. Also, the Mike Wagner Show is brought to you by our brand new sponsor of the Sweet Psalmist by Serena Wagner, based on the life of King David, including 30 paintings and King David Psalms. The Sweet Psalmist gives us a new perspective of David through the Psalms he wrote and his time as a shepherd where it all started and complicated and turbulent relationship with King Saul. It's a story of love, betrayal, repentance, and more. Check out The Sweet Psalmist by Serena Wagner on Amazon. 
keyword sweet psalmist serena wagner also brought to you by high tan music featuring the smash hit baby come back and appearing august 25th in los angeles listen for the tales at heidytanmusic.com also take the mike wagner show at the on any mobile device at the mike wagner show.com and over 40 podcast platforms including spreaker iheart youtube as well and for great gift ideas 24 7 go to amazon.com check out the mike wagner show podcast t-shirts pop sockets phone cases, hoodies, also tote bags, and more. Amazon.com. Check out the Mike Weiner Show podcast and check out Amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia for great books like Missing, Once, and Wrinkles, cool merchandise, and more. Amazon.com slash me and Molson Zia and support the Mike Weiner Show on Anchor FM, PayPal, and the Mike Weiner Show.com. We're here with the multi-talented Christian singer, songwriter, multi-war winner, John Harvey here on the Mike Weiner Show with Jesus Never Tapped Out. And, um, and just going back to uh, some of the influence as well, who are some of your favorite other singers, songwriters, and musicians growing up? Well, I um, the first band I ever saw was in Berlin, Germany, when I was 17 years old, and it was Pink Floyd. Oh, wow. And it was two, it was two weeks after they recorded Dark Side of the Moon. Okay. And I knew right then, beyond a shadow of a doubt, that that's what I was meant to do. <laughs> I was meant to write. I was meant to play music. I, I was meant to record. I'd always felt it in me that that's what I was supposed to do. But after I saw them, that sealed the deal. Mm, that certainly does. And of course, you also worked with some uh, other professionals like Earl Thomas Kelly open up for. Oh, yeah. I've, I've worked with uh, uh, Earl Thomas Connolly, uh, the Drifters, the Marvelettes, Jay and the Techniques, Sawyer Brown, Frank, Van Frank Mancuso and the Imaginations. I was invited to open for Bob Dylan and Joan Armitrading. Uh, I've played with the Dell Vikings. I played with Shanana. Um, and that's just what I can think of off the top of my head. It, it, it's been quite a few. Oh my gosh, you've got an amazing list. I got to say that. It's like I'm starting to run out of room here. So you got all that. So, and, and plus, you know, I got your own music and your own right as well, too. That uh, besides Jesus Never Tapped Out featuring Tile Track, you also got uh, Let the Light Shine On. And also, uh, Blessed R and also Sparrow, God's Pretty Little Girl, Where Angels Fly, Sailing On. And uh, tell us more about that music and what inspired you to write it. Well, right now, I've got uh, God's Pretty Little Girl has been released. And it's taking off like crazy. And the story behind that is I was getting married and... Um, being the player I am, I didn't want to just give my vows up there at the altar. I wanted to sing them. So I wrote I wrote them in a song called God's Pretty Little Girl. And that's what that song is. It's my wedding vows. And I released it. And I'm getting plays like absolutely crazy. I've and just in two days, I've gotten three or four thousand plays on it, uh, and that's just for me submitting it to groups that I belong to. You know, I don't, I don't use any of these uh, YouTube folks that say they'll get you ten thousand views. You know, mm -hmm. I, I, I do it myself, um, and be between that and Chris Spear giving me the airtime and airplay and the promotion and the tools to work with. It, it, again, I, I get all, I get comments all the time on, on people saying how much they love this song because it, it means something to their heart. Um, so everything I write, I try for it to have a meaning. Um, like where angels fly. That was, when my wife's daughter passed away, I wrote that for her. And, and again, I performed that and I have people come up to me afterwards and they thank me saying, I have no idea <laughs> how much that, that meant to them and how much that it touched them. And these are, these are people that, that I don't know. So that's how God has been using me in, in the music business. Okay. It sounds amazing as well, too. And of course, you also, um, you know, got some others on Spotify and everything like that. And if there's other music we haven't talked about, feel free to talk about it as well. Well, uh, 
I've, I've got some music out on DistroKid. Uh, if anybody's interested, uh, just look up John Henry Harvey, and you'll you'll find it there. Uh, it's on Spotify and Apple and all the all the major platforms. Um, my video is doing really well. It, it's on uh, Indie uh, Radio Universal network it it it's on youtube it's um it's on rebel tv i just got put on hotel tv today which is on roku it's one of the oh, largest nice. one of the largest roku platforms um and i want to get i want to get back up to new jersey and i want to do the do the video to uh to some some more of my songs up there. God's pretty little girl in particular. I want to do that in honor of my wife. Um so that's that's about it. I'm busy writing. Uh I'm playing a lot at church. Um they have me play a new song there about every month and a half. I teach it to their band. How you like that? And then when church is over, we 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 play it. Uh, I've been playing with a good friend of mine, Lenny Holmes, uh, Grammy-nominated guitar player. He played with Prince and Michael Jackson, and he was nice. Grammy-nominated for a Nami, uh, a Grammy, nominated for a Grammy. There we go, nominated for a Grammy for a song that he wrote with Beyonce. Uh, and he's he's played with the Funkadelics, uh, Parliament, P Funk, Living Color. Just lots and lots of people. He's he's the lead guitarist at our church. Oh wow! So I'm very very honored to have that to have that going on. <laughs> um, that's that that's about it. <laughs> Boy, you have a lot, and plus also let's uh, fill in the blanks. Uh, not only do some music as well, you're also a senior in, instructor and member of the McGuire Veterans. Yes. Uh, I do that. Uh, it's starting to come back together now. It's been a long time since this pandemic just is still close, shutting things down. Uh, mm -hmm. I belong to a group called No Veteran Dies Alone, where I go into the hospice rooms and I play music for the passing veterans during their final days and hours music that they want to hear um right now that's that's all put on hold if if anybody wants to see their loved one in the hospice there they have to go stand outside and peer in through the window they've got the room numbers plastered on the window so you know who is where it, it it's extremely sad uh and i'm really praying and hoping that uh, they lift these sanctions mm -hmm. and uh allow us musicians that, that believe in that to go in there and do more. Right. Yes. And of course we do need all that as well too. And um, what's coming up amazing, a uh, multi-talented John Harvey of uh, Jesus never tapped out. We'll find out just one minute. You listen to the Mike Widener show at the Mike Widener show.com powered by Sonic Web studios brought to you by our official sponsor of the Mike Widener show, international warring author, me and Molson Zia missing. You learn mythical, the think tank of the future, the sweet psalmist by Serena Wagner now on Amazon. Heidi Tan Music with Baby Come Back at HeidiTanMusic.com. We'll be back with the multi-talented John Harvey after this time. We're back with the multi-talented John Harvey of Jesus Never Tapped Out here on the Mike Widener Show. And he certainly never tapped out in D, which is really amazing to hear. And um, where, 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 where else do we expect him in 2024 and beyond, John? Well, uh, I, plan on, I plan on touring as much as I can. Getting okay. out there, I want to continue playing for the vets. Uh, I want to continue recording, continue writing, uh, sharing my testimony, preaching when I can. And I'll tell you, I, I owe a lot to uh, you. You asked who brought me to you earlier. Uh, I got a hold of you because of. Charlotte Hogue, and who was very close with Pete DeLorenzo, and he and I were very close friends. Uh, he was going to have my song Sparrow 
in his movie, The Mentor. And then he uh, unfortunately passed away. Hmm. But they put me in touch with uh, Victor uh, Santiago. And and he he told me, he said, you, you got to talk to Mike Wagner. He is an amazing guy. So, Big shout out to Don Vic of the Don Vic Show. Amazing. Don Vic, yeah. No doubt about it. Okay. No doubt just... about it. Yes, it does. And uh, give a big shout out to him as well, too. And uh, in the meantime, I was going to ask you once again, where can we find all your music at, including Jesus Never Tapped Out? Where Jesus Never Tapped Out? Right, yeah. And uh, all he works at. What's your website? Um, uh, John Harvey on Facebook. Okay. That, that's my website right now. I'm still working on getting a uh, a website, but I'm using my own Facebook page where I have all my songs posted on it that people can go to and uh, they can get a hold of me and talk to me. And I, I just find it in a way it's more personable True. for me that way. I've made, I've made a lot of friends, a lot of contacts. Um, of course I want to sell what I do, but I'm more into it for the spirit of God. You know, it, it. I learned a long time ago that playing music doesn't necessarily make you a lot of money, but playing for Jesus, you build up rewards mm -hmm. up in heaven for that. And it, like I said earlier, nothing touches my soul more than playing for a room full of wheelchairs. And uh, that's where I'm at. Mm, that's so amazing what you do, John. God bless you here. We're we're here with the multi talent John Harvey here on the Mike Wagner Show, and um, and just a couple of things. Uh, who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? Say that again. Who do you consider your biggest influence in your career? My biggest influence in my career, uh, without sounding cliche, it's got to be God. It's 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 got to it's got to be Jesus. Uh, it's the Bible. It, it's uh, it's my prayer life. Everything leads me to do what I do through the Lord. You know, I, I've played in so many bands, and they've all let me down in one, one way or another. But playing for the Lord has never, never once let me down. Mm -hmm. I don't care if there's one person in the room or 10,000 people in the room. It, it's, it's never let me down. Mm -hmm. And that's a very good point as well. And what's the best advice you can give to anybody at this point? Follow your heart. Talk to God. Ask God what, what where he wants you. We all have a purpose in this life. And in a way, we're all the same. I mean, I'm no different than than the person that holds the door for people at church or sweeps out the bathrooms. You know, it's all, it's all sacrifice. It's all out of love. And, and the more you do it, the more he opens up to you where he wants you. And I believe that people are happier when they're doing what God wants them to do. Mm-hmm. And that is very important as well. Once again, with the multi-talent John Harvey of um, Jesus Never Tapped Out and more here on the Mike Wagner Show. John, a very big thank you for your time. You've been absolutely fantastic. Learned a lot from you. Looking forward to having you again soon. Keep us up to date. Keep in touch. Love to have you back. And once again, um, I know you don't have a website. How do people reach out to you? How do people contact you? Where can people purchase or check out your works? Well, they can check out my works and purchase at uh, through DistroKid on any of the major, any of the major platforms. But they can get a hold of me on my Facebook page, John Harvey. Um, they can hear my music every Monday night on Indie Radio Universal at eight thirty p.m. Central Time, and we have a uh, a chat room which is more of a VIP experience where they can ask all the artists questions. Uh, they can meet with their, their fans, their producers, their, uh, 
their agents, all the people in the business right, right, right there. And it, it's some of the best, the best indie music in the world. I highly recommend it. All right. Well, certainly check it out. God bless you on that one, John. Once again, a very big thank you for your time, John. You've been absolutely amazing. Looking forward to having you again soon. Keep us up to date. Keep in touch. Laugh it back. Wish all the best. And John, you definitely have a great future ahead of you. And God bless you and all you do. God bless you. Thank you very much, Mike.